Is that a shiny? Is that a shiny Aqua Breed Tauros? I think it is! I just have to get into a battle with it. I think that's a shiny Aqua Breed Tauros. Save one more time. Yes, it is! Oh my god! <laughs> this is only the second phase. And that's a shiny Aqua Breed Tauros. Oh my god, I want to run from this thing. I want to see it sparkle again. Get a really good angle of it. That's it. No, the other Tauros. I've only done one phase for this thing, and it was on my Violet Badge quest. This is the second phase for Aqua Breed Tauros, and I found it. Come on. Give me a good shot. There it is. Let's go. Oh my gosh. I mean, you gotta use a dive ball on this thing, right? There we go. There's the capture. Oh my gosh. This came after 4,925 encounters. I was prepared to like end up like Ash and catch like 30 shiny normal combat breed Tauros before I found the Aqua breed. All right, so I forgot about this, but I found the first one ridiculously quickly on my Violet Badge quest. It came after 625 encounters. So that means for these two shiny Tauros, it only took me 5,610 encounters to find the shiny Aqua Breed. Check the summary on this guy. Oh my gosh. Fighting Terra type, Intimidate. I think that's normal. Hasty Nature. And no marks. Oh, I even forget how big that is. That's extra, extra large, so he's quite big. Oh my gosh, that is, like, I know a lot of people say that this shiny's super hard to notice, but honestly, once you see it for yourself in-game, like these Tauros, it is so easy to tell. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. Look at him. Oh, and he can keep up with you, too. I can't keep up with Miradon, but not many people, or not many Pokemon can. So cool. But yeah, that, like in that comparison right there, it's so easy to tell. The way I like to do it is to look at their head. Because on the, the normal one there, you can see its head is much lighter colored. And then on this one, it's way darker on the shiny. Oh, that looks so good with the dive ball. All right, now this right here is the whole reason I hunted this thing. He can swim. Look at his tail. The propeller tail. Oh, and his horns glow when he swims too. That is so cool. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this is seriously the whole reason I wanted to hunt this thing is because once I learned that it could swim because it's a water type, I just had to have it. Second phase. I feel like I have to boot up Scarlet and go for the Blaze Breed as well. I'm not sure when I'm going to do that, but I like both the Tauros forms a lot. I body fat so he can float very easily. Yeah, I don't think I've ever terastalized a swimming Pokemon before. That looks so weird. Like, he's just floating. Does he have animations in the water? He kinda does. It just kinda looks like his, uh, like, normal animations. Still pretty cool. He's jumping in. Look at this normal Tauros on a raft. Can't even swim. I, I don't like to- I wish you could talk to your Pokemon in the water, but if you try to, they just kind of do this. He's so big. And happy. Oh, he just licked me. Such a majestic creature. Look at those fur textures, too. Those are so good. You should like bath time. You're a water type. Maximum soapage. Oh, his tail spins when he dries off like that. That's awesome.
You know, it doesn't have to look pretty because he can't even pick it up, so he's just gonna eat it off the ground anyway. Why is he so small down there? <laughs> 